All right, so hikers are insanely loud. <laughs> and I was just filming this and a bunch of them went by and because I made no movement and I moved off the path quietly by using the skills that I'm about to teach you, um, you will be undetected in the woods. So I grew up hiking and I used to walk like this. And then I started hunting and now I walk like this. And the difference between a hiker and a hunter is a hiker's trying to get somewhere and a hunter is exploring the area that they're already in to try to find animals, to try to understand what's on the ground, what is the food source, where is the water, and they're exploring the, the tracks on the ground. So your destination as a hunter is where you are. Your destination as a hiker is where you're going. So walk like a hunter, not like a hiker, if you wanna be undetected in the woods. And so I brought this uh, GoPro with me to give you some point of view shots of what it looks like for me as I'm walking through the woods. But I'm not just scanning what's above, I'm also feeling what's below. So the kind of shoes that you wear are really important. And also understanding what animals sound like in the woods is really important. Because if you can imitate what a deer sounds like, and it's too loud for you to just walk silently, then you're able to actually be able to not spook the animals around you. If you can imitate what a squirrel sounds like, then you're able to not disrupt the animals who are around you. So what you wanna do is understand cadence, so how you pick up your feet and the speed, your gait, which is um, sort of how you're moving your body to um, to walk through the woods and then also the sounds that those produce so here's what they look like all right so your first option is a fox walk and a fox walk is basically where you're going to start on your heel roll to the side and then down to your foot these are good options for when there aren't a whole lot of leaves on the ground or when there's so many leaves on the ground but the problem with it is your footprint is this big and a deer's footprint is this big and so you need to be able to just put down part of your foot. So if you can manage that where there's a whole lot of leaves and you don't have to worry about getting your whole foot on the ground. So it looks like this. Option two is just to walk like a deer walks. And this is gonna take you a really long time to get anywhere because you're basically gonna take one, two, three step pause. Wait, 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 look around, observe, one, two, three step pause. And what that's doing is a deer will typically take three steps and then their like last hind leg, they sort of just kind of put down real slow. And it's not like a, a big movement. Um, and their feet are really small, so it's just gonna be bop, bop, bop. And then sometimes I'll just sort of put that next foot down real slow in front of me, and that sounds like a quadruped rather than you who is a biped walking in the woods. And your last option is you can kind of sound like a squirrel a little bit. Squirrels are like the loudest thing in the woods besides fish or cats, at least around where I live. Um, and so when you're walking in the woods and you want to sound like a squirrel, the goal is really to move leaves out of the way like they're burrowing for stuff, but not to break any sticks. So nothing breaks sticks in the woods other than heavy, heavy animals, which is basically humans and maybe bears. Um, but pretty much nothing else breaks sticks. Squirrels will break them up in trees all the time, but deer know what that sound like. And the deer are used to the woods, um, squirrels are used to the woods, and, and stuff falls to the ground all the time and things break, but things just don't go snap. And if you watch a bunch of deer and you see a, a twig snap or you hear a twig snap, then they'll all like pick up their ears and look and try to figure out what's going on. So don't do that. 
and that's why you want those soft soles um, on your feet so that you can kind of feel through um, like what's underneath you. Like right now, I know that I'm standing on a stick right here. I can feel it. And as a matter of fact, here it is. This was under the leaves because I have on soft soled shoes. Um, if you go like this in the woods, everything's going to freak out. They're going to all look around. They're going to wonder what's going on, especially if it's on the ground. Yes, they can tell the difference. All right, so here's what walking like a squirrel looks like. So when there's a bunch of leaves on the ground, like this and a bunch of sticks, your best option is to just walk like a squirrel. Um, so you're going to kind of just... So I've cleared the brush, and then I wait. It's harder to do with your left foot. Wait. You see how the ruffling of the area makes the actual sound of the uh, the foot going down be way less loud. Like so, a couple things to note is you want to put your foot down a little bit and then decide whether or not you want to put it down the rest of the way. So I'm constantly feeling what's underneath the leaves as I'm walking. The other really important thing is just to walk straight into the wind because otherwise they're just going to smell you anyway and it doesn't matter how much noise you're making. I hope you guys found that helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and if you want to get more content like this, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comments and good luck hunting or just going out and watching nature. It's pretty cool to do. And for the record, I have nothing against hikers. I love hiking. As a matter of fact, I'm hiking out right now. Uh, but there is a different set of goals between hiking and hunting. And I just want to exemplify that to demonstrate how to walk correctly if you're hunting versus if you're hiking.